Hey guys, Ivan here and what an amazing show we got today, Dubai Pro 2024, pre-judging is a wrap and this was your top 4 as expected, Beckers the Bunny, William Bonag, Nathan Diasha and Rubiel Mosquera aka Nexila, a very much expected top 4 but what we didn't know, what we couldn't know is that uh, Rubio Mosquera and Exila is not in the top 3 even, he is not winning this show. So this was originally top 6 and this was your top 4, the center of the top 6, and as you can see Exila next to these guys, he was definitely the biggest, for sure the biggest, and, uh, he basically made some of these guys seem like classy guys next to him, especially in the legs, I would say upper body as well, I think he improved the balance of his physique, like his upper body was bigger now, his back was definitely the widest, the thickest, but there was one problem, the one that we kind of expected based on those photos from yesterday, his conditioning, it wasn't where it needed to be, not even close. Last year at Prague Pro, it was a little bit better if you ask me, I think it was a little bit tighter, we can't really tell for sure based on the live stream, we're gonna see some higher quality photos and videos later so we can conclude if it is actually worse now than last year, but uh, it definitely wasn't good enough, especially compared to these guys, guys like Becker Stabani and William Bonak. Nathan Diasha, in my opinion, he wasn't as conditioned as Backrose and William, but he was more conditioned than, 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 than Rubio. And if you look at Rubio's legs, like, yeah, they're massive, but his waist is also a little bit on the wider side compared to Backrose Tabani here. I mean, look at the leg difference, it's not even close. But because of his waist size and like his, his neck and like the, the width of the shoulders as well, his legs don't really create an illusion of having super crazy big sweeps, right? Like if he had a better X frame, better weight taper, if his waist was smaller, this would all flow better, but it is what it is, his shape is the way it is, and main thing really here was conditioning, he was most certainly bigger than everybody here, and I think they got the angle on him, I think Backers and Bonak here are definitely much closer to the camera, to the judges, to the audience, they are crossing the line quite a bit, and uh, Rubiel is not doing that, he's not really trying to out angle these guys, and he still looks bigger, but if he was in the same line as them, you would see a bigger difference in size, but even without doing that, he still looked the biggest, the thickest, not the most conditioned, definitely not even close, I mean, he's gonna place 4th here for sure, he can't be 5th or 6th, his conditioning is not that bad to get him out of uh, top 4, but uh, yeah, if he was more conditioned, maybe he would have won this show, however, this way, it's not gonna happen. We're gonna take a look at the top 3 comparison in a second, but first let's take a look at Rubiel's uh, posing routine, I think he stole some moves from his uh, mentor Chris Cormier, uh, his posing routine re resembled uh, one of uh, Chris Cormier's back in the day, uh, he was dancing, he was twerking on the stage, I don't know, I mean I guess it was entertaining for the crowd, but I'm not a big fan of those kind of routines, I like to see more, uh, more bodybuilding posing really, not dancing, look at this. I mean, I'm not a fan of this, I don't know about you guys, I mean, maybe, he, look at this, look at what he was doing, I'm sure he lifted the crowd up, I'm sure everybody was entertained, but, you know, I would prefer to see, you know, better conditioning, better physique, less twerking, more, you know, hitting uh, classic uh, bodybuilding poses, uh, interesting transitions, and so on in his posing routine, but, uh, yeah, he, he chose to be an entertainer, and that's fine, that's okay, but yeah, like I said, conditioning wasn't where it needed to be, I'm pretty sure it's worse than last year, I can't stop laughing looking at this, uh, I'm sure last year it was a little bit tighter, especially like the legs were a little bit more separated, everything, I think everything was just sharper and harder, I think he kind of missed the peak a little bit here, I think he can improve if he continues competing, we'll see, but right now let's focus on the top three, and we have of course uh, Bekrus Tabani, William Bonak and Nathan Diasha, who is winning this show? Well, my favorite coming to this show, yesterday at least, it was Bekrus Tabani, but now after seeing the prejudging, I think it's more likely to be William Bonak. Now, Bekrus Tabani has a better structure, for sure, but I don't think he nailed his peak as good as he could, like, the glutes weren't as separated as they can be, as they usually are, as they were when he beat Nathan Diasha, and I, I would say the same thing about his hamstrings, 
And William Bonac brought good conditioning. This is really reminding me of the Spain show where William Bonac beat back Rustabani. I think this is very similar to that. Although I think Bonac is as good as that show or even better. But definitely better than the show when he lost to Nathan Diasha. And Nathan, I think he's he spilled over a little. I think he's not in the best conditioning ever. He's full, sure, but not as hard. Bonek also, I think he improved the fullness and the details in his quads. I don't know how the hell could he do it. This is the pose where Backers wins for sure, most muscular. But Bonek also looks better than before. He did something and he's just fuller everywhere. Like his quads are rounder, bigger, fuller, and his shoulders and arms are also bigger and fuller. And I think he's the most conditioned guy on this stage. He has the most details pretty much everywhere. Backers, because he didn't exactly quite nail the conditioning, I think he's lacking those details in his quads and in his legs from behind as well. He has the best structure here. But I feel like the judges will go with the conditioning at this show. Once again, it's very similar to Emperor Cup Spain. Look at William Bonacra, especially from the side. Like the, 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 the striations in the chest and the shoulders and the arms. And from behind as well. The glute striations, the back detail. And it's, this is a really good William Bonac, honestly. So I feel like he's winning this. Even though I'm a bigger fan of Bakr Stabani. He has a better structure. He's a taller bodybuilder. He has really a static physique. I don't think this is him at his 100%. I feel like Bonek really nailed it. And based on the way the judges were moving these guys, especially that first call out, it was William Bonek versus Bakrus Tabani. And then they added Nathan Diasha in that mix and they left the Rubiel out. So I guess it is between uh, Bakrus Tabani and William Bonek. Personally, I feel like it's gonna be William Bonac. I think he has the least amount of flaws. Like, his quads are actually detailed and full. Unlike Bechruz's, he doesn't have those uh, details and lines in the center of his quads. Uh, he had this better before, but I don't think he nailed his peak quite as good at this show. In the end, he was also in the center. Everybody was in the center. They switched these guys around. I think only to make a show so we can only guess who's gonna win. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be Nathan Diash. I think he's third. I think it's between William Bonac and Bechrus Tabani. I mean, again, you guys tell me what do you think. Like, maybe it's gonna be Bechrus because of his structure. But we had the same situation at Emperor Cup Spain, you know, Backrus had a better structure, better shape, uh, better like most muscular front double probably, but uh, William was just a little bit more conditioned and uh, he peaked a little bit better at that show. And I don't know if Backrus truly nailed it at this one. I think he was better at Italy where he beat uh, Nathan Diasha. So here, again, I think William Bonac wins it, but it can be Backrus as well. Tell me what do you guys think about who's gonna win this show and what do you think about uh, Rubio Mosquera? Did he really improve in the offseason and what do you think about his conditioning? Tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, stay tuned for the finals and thank you so much for watching. See you soon guys, all the best and bye bye.